Here's a quick tip from Cooking with Kids. Andrea and I are going to demonstrate how to measure. There are different kinds of measuring cups. Some are for dry ingredients, some for liquid. Measuring spoons are important for small amounts. Andrea and I are making breadstick dough. We need one and one fourth cups of warm water. Lines on the cup show the amount, and there's a spout for pouring. Find the amount you need and fill the cup while it's sitting on a flat surface. Now, Andrea will take a look at eye level. Next, we need two teaspoons of yeast. A set of measuring spoons has a tablespoon, a teaspoon, half teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon, and one eighth teaspoon. Look at the spoons to figure out what you need. Sometimes there are abbreviations like TSP for teaspoon or TBSP for tablespoon. It's time to add olive oil, honey, rosemary, and salt. Measuring cups for dry ingredients hold one cup, half cup, one third cup, and one fourth cup. We need one cup of whole wheat flour. Scoop the flour until it's heaping and then level it with the back of a butter knife. Using the right kind of measuring tools helps your recipe turn out right. If you use a liquid measuring cup for flour, it's easy to get either too much or too little. Learning to measure is actually really fun. We love to help, and when we cook healthy foods, we're more excited to try them. To see how these breadsticks turn out, watch our next video about kneading and shaping dough.